Так, погнали, очень глючный квест, глюч на всем, на чем не попадет, надеюсь, Знаете, как раз где? обойдется. Что происходит, сэр? Я Успех, Саханош, Наверное, он хочет мне еще раз ебашить об этой эре моих путей. И он сказал, что принесет тебе еще. Что это имеет дело с тобой? Пленти. Ты в этом с тобой, ever since that hunt. Хорошо, мы должны начать тогда, не должны быть, Сирхан. Чем больше мы будем, тем лучше. Я думаю, что так. Прямо сюда. Я поставил некоторые моих старых одежды в трунк для тебя. Я не хочу, чтобы ты выглядел плохо в фронте Ханаш. And I see I did the right thing. Jesus, Henry, if you're going to be my companion, you have to look the part. Thanks, sir, but I'd rather go as I am. You'd rather disgrace me? Well, I'm in no mood to argue with you. Come on, then. А в чем проблема? Это что ему не понравилась моя одежда? Одежда, одежка. Рога и перья не понравились, что ли? Нифига себе, ну там well, издалека глючит, не прорисовывается. Да изблизит его. Uncle, my lord. I hope we haven't dragged you away from anything too important. Not at all, uncle. We like were just... boozing and whoring, for instance. Uh... Uncle, I can... Perhaps you were busy causing mayhem in the middle of the night and beating up my subjects. No, it wasn't. Henry and I were just... Henry's as big a fool as you are. But he's not my ward, thank Christ. What the hell do the pair of you think you're doing? There are people in this fiefdom who work from dawn to dusk to put food on their tables and on yours. May I remind you? And then they look at you, Hans, their lord and master, and see a drunken layabout. That fellow you beat up last night was a guard, a new guard on the town watch. And he couldn't report for duty this morning because of his injuries. I had the bailiff here complaining, and could I tell him what I really think about this whole sorry affair? Of course not. That would demean me. And you too. So I had to sit gaping like a stuffed owl and listen to his grievances. Maybe you think because you're the Lord here you can get away with anything. But you're sadly mistaken, you blockhead. A Lord remains a Lord only as long as he commands the loyalty of his subjects. And I'm sure I don't have to tell you the folk here are not exactly enchanted at the prospect of having you in charge. That was the last straw, Capon. One more of your escapades and I'll send you to your mother in Polna. For all I care, she can dress you up like a wench and marry you off to some Hungarian. Uncle, that arson b Archibald tried to murder me. What was I to do? Oh, don't exaggerate. Well, I'm hardly surprised after you molested his girl and humiliated him. But I was only... Oh, oh don't just, I... whine, for I'm heaven's sorry. sake. It's about time you started taking some responsibility. I have a job for you. Maybe that will keep you out of mischief. So Milota of Oleshna has turned up here. Do you know him? Isn't he Sir Bernard's cousin? He is. He came here with the remnants of his retinue to seek refuge. He's seriously wounded. What happened to him, sir? His fortress Oleshna was attacked by one Wolfren of Camburg. Milota pursued him almost as far as Neuhof and engaged with him. Unfortunately, the skirmish didn't end well for Milota. Wolflin of Camberg, that name is familiar. Yeah, he's kin to the Oleshna lords too, a cousin of Bernard's and Melotta's. Their family affairs are a little complicated. None of my business, of course. I just wish they'd found somewhere else to thrash out their differences. What do you want us to do, sir? Go and see Bernard in the courtyard. He got a report that Wolflin pillaged some other farms around Neuhof, and he's putting a squad together to ride against him. Mind your step, though. It's a family affair, after all. Maybe more to it than meets the eye. The important thing is to get that damn scavenger out of the domain. If possible, without bloodshed. I can't afford to lose any men over this business. Have I made myself clear? Yes, sir. Very well, uncle. Get to work, then.
ладно, сейчас я просто попробую доехать до нужного места. Надеюсь, что ничего не заглючит. Тут задание, но... Capon, when we get there, I'd like you to hold back. You can forget about that, Bernard. I'm not going in now. Can I sent you to handle this matter? And hand you, I would. Нет, блин, они так же глючат. Так, ладно, пока они тут не умерли все. Так, секунду. Я сейчас. Я сейчас посмотрю на карте, куда мне подписчики скинули, куда попробую сразу приехать, чтобы, может быть, они там, короче, уже будут по квесту. Сюда мне надо. Жаль, конечно, я диалог пропускаю. Там у них пути какой-то диалог про какие-то семейные отношения, про еще что-то, но я не знаю, что тут. Короче, выбор у меня не хотел. Давайте я по быстрое перемещение использую. Может заодно глюк пройдет. Ну и этот ролик я, собственно, закончу, туда доеду. Дальше уже буду выкладывать, чисто по каждому короче. Надеюсь, у меня тут ничего сейчас не провалится. Не знаю. Напишите в комментах, если там в дороге, о чем они вообще говорили, кто помнит, кто знает, диалог, кого не заглючили Nothing in particular, just that he's a ruffian, a treacherous bastard, and a bandit. No wonder the whole Camber clan is cursed. And you believe that story? 
depends how you look at it. Wilhelm wasn't a bad man while he was in his right mind, but he was terrifying to look at. I still get shivers down my spine when I think of it. As for Wolfen, word came that he died in Silesia. Then, one day, he appeared from nowhere. There are folk who say death has no power over him. How do you mean cursed? Like I said, Wolfen's grandfather married Countess Barbara of Hogwitz. She didn't want to bear his child and went to a witch to get rid of it. Only instead of getting rid of the unborn child, she ended up having five. What, all at the same time? All in one night. But only one of them lived till morning. The youngest, Wilhelm. And his face was disfigured. They say the witch deceived the Countess, and it was Satan himself who impregnated her. How are you related? Miloda, Wolfen, and I have the same great-grandfather, Urban, Baron of Oleshna. What do we do now? First, we have to find out where those horses are holed up. According to the reports, they raided a few farms around here. So someone should go to those places and find out what they can. You should do it, Henry. My men would probably just startle them. Isn't it dangerous? About as dangerous as sitting here in the camp. Yeah, I suppose you're right, sir. Where are the farms they raided? One is uphill from Neuhoff, right by the woods. One here above the woods by the crossroads, directly north from our camp. Close enough, you sure. Все, это уже для отдельных видео. Пишите в комменты, что там за диалог был в дороге, если бы он не заглючил мне. И вообще подробнее напишите там свое мнение. Кто из них прав, кто виноват, будет ли тут какой-то выбор, нелинейный ли этот квест, нелинейный и так далее. И, кстати, где птачек-то? Чуть его тут не видно. Ну ладно.